Hi guys, this is Devin with Backyard Projects, and today I am finishing out my birdhouses. So, you seen me the other day make a, uh, like a finch style birdhouse? Well, today I am making uh, a robin and cardinal birdhouse. So let me show you how I make my birdhouses. So here we have our back, which is the back of the birdhouse, and that is 10 inches. Then we have the bottom, which is 7 inches, and then we have our top, which is 8 inches. So if you guys look, it's all from one post, and I just kind of cut it up into sections. This is the footer, this is the bottom part, and that is 2 inches. And here is the sides. This is the most complicated part of the whole process. Um, it's not that difficult. So the top part, whenever you're cutting it, all right, the, you're going to have the bottom at the end. And basically, it's going to be four and a half inches down. So you're going to go four and a half inches out, put a dot, then you're going to put uh, two and a half inches dot, then you're going to put the three and a half here. So let's go ahead and do that just so I can show you guys what I mean. Alright, so let me show you guys how I did my side pieces. Ignore this piece of wood, it's scrap wood, never intended on using it, but one side is flat and one side is sloped at a 22 and a half. So, you line up your flat edge, okay, and you kind of see how I did that. So, let me show you. So, the bottom, so, let's write, so, the bottom is three and a half, so we'll go three and a half, okay, the middle is two and a half, and then the top part is four, four and a quarter. Okay, so basically you just kind of connect the dots. There you go, one to one, two to two, All right, and you can see the slope that you have. So then go from that very point to the top and you just draw a line. I use, and you kind of can see it a little bit maybe, I'll do that. The, what I used to cut all this was a bandsaw. I cut out my, uh, the triangle and then on my table saw I just ended up cutting a 22 and a half. So let's get back to building the birdhouse. All right, me putting this together is like a giant, or it's a big puzzle again. This is probably the fourth one I've done today. Anyway, so let's go ahead and put that together. There we go. Then I'm going to put my in my little decorative piece in. Since I already have them pre-drilled, they basically just go in their flat. Make sure it's nice and square. There we go. I'll go ahead and do the same down here. And see how I kind of bring this together. There you go. See on this one I didn't spread it out like I did here. It really doesn't matter. As long as that it's not going anywhere. Unless you had a really, really big bird 
it's not gonna matter. And then we will put the other side on. Alrighty. Oh, I got it too far over. In that case, on here, whenever I put the screw in, I got it too far or too close to the edge and it split the wood a little bit. So I'm gonna go down a little bit. So let's drill another hole. There we go. Now that we have another hole. All right, so now no more split. All right, this is the little footer, like that. So it doesn't, uh, it didn't call for this, the plans didn't, but I've built this in the past and I think it looks better and I think it helps keep the nest in from just blowing off in a strong windstorm. All right, now that we have that done, let's put it on the top. I put bigger screws back here. These are inch and uh, quarter screws and these are two inch screws. I did the bigger screws because if you notice, my wood is kind of bowed a little bit. And whenever I put these in, it flattens it out. That's what I like, because I don't want to get, I don't want water, I don't want water to get in the top and just sit there. What is that? There we go. All right, I don't want water to just sit in there. So then, let's put this. See how it pulls it together? All right, now let's tighten this up so it'll be nice and level, or flat. There we go. Oh. Because I have taken this apart, I've lost my, my grips. So let's put in the two inch. There we go. That's not gonna go. All right, let's put in another screw. My other screw was chipping it on the inside and I don't want that. So let's put in a different screw here. There we go. Nice and flush. All right. Do the same on this side. There we go. And so it's done. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. Uh, the birds that I have mainly in my yard are red robins and cardinals. So that is why I built these houses. So I built four of these and four of the other ones. I'm going to do a test in this house to see if they, which nest that they like better. Uh, and see what kind of birds I get. I also ended up getting a bat house the other day at, uh, what is it, Wild Birds United, or Unlimited, here in Tulsa. I think they're at 61st and Memorial. Anyway, I only got one because I think this holds like 150 bats, and I don't know if I'd want too many more than that. Uh, I also, from a local garden shop here in Tulsa. I ended up buying a ladybug house. And what's interesting is that the ladybug house actually has uh, like a mesh on the back. And I guess that's kind of how they stay. I guess they all sleep in there. Anyway, the bat house kind of has the same stuff except it's a little thicker. 
and I believe they hang from that too. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is Devin with Backyard Projects. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.